Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about whether or not it's safe to use your internet uh, in a lightning storm or a lightning strike or a thunder and lightning storm, whatever you want to call it. So stick around and we'll talk about it. Okay, is it safe to use your internet and your device is hooked to it during a lightning storm? Uh, we get this question a lot. The answer is yes and no. And the reason I'm saying that is because it's pretty hard to get electrocuted from a lightning strike uh, from your Wi-Fi. So if your devices are hooked to your Wi-Fi, um, it's pretty safe to say you can use them because it doesn't it doesn't travel that way. However, it does travel through solid connections. So your Ethernet connections, your hardwired PCs, your TVs, your Android boxes, your, your Apple uh, uh, plug-in chargers, all of that stuff that is connected via a solid connection is at risk. Now, I want to talk about surge protection. It's always a good idea to have surge protection, whether it be a surge power bar, whether it be a home home protection in your electrical panel, whether it be a UPS backup. Now, a lot of surge protection companies, the good quality ones, will claim that they will protect against lightning strikes. So I want to clarify what a surge is or what a spike is. A spike is a variance in voltage up or down, which these devices will protect against. So if you get um, a spike in voltage from whatever's going on with the power line, it comes on, it comes off, it will protect against that. If you get a distant lightning strike on the power line, it will protect against that. It will not protect against a direct lightning strike. If lightning decides to hit in your yard or in your house and it travels in through your electrical system, there is no surge protection device on the market that will protect that. So, your internet modem is usually plugged in and then it has ethernet cables connecting your computers or whatnot. And I want to tell you a little story about how this can happen. I have a fairly large property. I have my shop computer, I have a house computer, I have several laptops, I have, you know, yada yada yada, several devices. So a lot of those devices are connected through Wi-Fi. However, some of the computers are connected through a solid CAT6 ethernet connection. I have a wireless dog fence, or sorry, a wired dog fence. So the wire runs around the whole perimeter of my property, 2,000 feet, and it goes to one of those collars, so if my dog tries to get away, it gives her a little zap. We, a few weeks ago, had a lightning storm here, and it was on top of us, basically. And you can tell when it happens, because the lightning and the thunder is just bang, and it's a big crack. What it did was it came down in the back of my property. Now it didn't hit a tree, but it went into the woods. Now there was enough moisture in the ground that it came in through my dog fence wire, went through my dog fence system, went through the transformer, fed back into my electrical system, and cooked every single ethernet port connected through my internet through the whole system. So what did that do? That caused me to, I had to go to my internet provider and get a whole new modem. Um, it caused me to replace all of the jacks and it caused a number of my computers to have issues. So to answer your question, is it safe to use your internet during a lightning strike? No. I mean, yes, if you're going to use your Wi-Fi, but why would you want to jeopardize blowing your modem up? Just unplug your sensitive electronics if you've watched the weather and you know you're going to get a good lightning storm. So that's why, uh, you know, husbands of wives run around and say, oh my goodness, unplug, unplug, unplug. We're protecting the electronics. So anything electronic is very sensitive. So unplug your TVs, unplug your, your stereo systems, unplug your computers, unplug your Wi-Fi or your modem to protect that stuff because there is no surge protector. Let's put it this way. If you buy a top quality surge protector and the surge protector has a green light on it and if it becomes faulty it goes to a red light and you take it back to the provider that you bought it from under warranty because they're, they've guaranteed it under warranty they will replace it because now the red light is on it and it's no good anymore 
if you take a direct lightning strike, it would probably blow the side right out of the surge protector and black it, blacken it. So if you take that back to the provider and ask for warranty, they're going to laugh at you. Um, I've seen lightning as an electrician hit a tree, come through a, a wash line, into the side of the house, catch the house on fire, go down through the ground rods, and back out through the well line for the artesian or de a drilled well. So when lightning hits that close, or it's a direct hit, there is nothing you can do to protect your your electrical system. Uh, it's just a it's just a fact, and whoever tells you different is is uh, really just fibbing to you. I mean, the only thing that I have ever seen that protects from any sort of lightning strike is those old style lightning rods that you put on top of barns, which diverts the the lightning strike or takes the lightning strike and shoves it right into the ground, um, which you don't see much of anymore. So just remember that uh, you, should, you should invest in a good quality surge protector because they are good for a number of instances with the exception of a direct lightning strike. Um, so you should, you should invest in one of those and you should always unplug your electronic devices if you know that there is a massive lightning storm coming. Uh, I mean, obviously if you check your weather forecast or your radar and it's going by, then I really wouldn't worry about it. But if you know it's gonna hit you, unplug your stuff. So that's it for today. I'm Andrew from Conquer All Electrical. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope this information was useful to you. We'll see you next time.